Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to address a very sensitive issue which uh, most of the aspirants are facing nowadays that uh, sir we have already st studied the subject but when we are going to the test series we are not able to score well in the examination along with that whenever we try to revise the notes our own notes we feel like that it is something new we have never studied this subject so this kind of problem a lot of aspirants are facing when I took the live session this problem was there with a lot of aspirants now I, I am making a video that how to tackle this problem it will be a very unconventional way but certainly it's going to help a lot. But before that, you need to understand one most important point. That is that you should not run behind completing the syllabus. Now people, somewhere you would have seen that uh, some people would be saying you need to complete the syllabus by November or December. There is nothing like that. If you complete the syllabus and if you are not able to score well in test series, then what is the need of that syllabus? You are not going to do well in your, well in your examination. Just because you have gone through some subjects, doesn't mean you have completed a syllabus. Okay. If you are not scoring well in that particular subject, that syllabus is not completed. Mark it. So do not run behind completing the syllabus. Whatever that you have covered, first be confident in that particular subjects. I have covered four to five subjects, then first I need to be confident in those four to five in those four to five subjects. So that at least I can perform in these subjects. If I run behind completing the syllabus, then I will mess up the new subjects as well. Along with that, I will mess up the previous subjects as well. So again and again, I am saying this thing. Do not run behind that. First, whatever that you have studied, tackle that thing. Whatever that you have studied till now, if you tackle that well, then you will have good confidence in further subjects as well. But if you move that, uh, sir, previous subjects, okay, I don't know whether I remember it or not, but I need to complete the syllabus. N number of mentors and number of educators will also say that your syllabus should be completed by this date or that date. But there is nothing called syllabus completion. Syllabus completion means you have the confidence of writing full length test. And that can come latest by 14th of Jan. By 14th of January, if you are having the confidence of writing the full length test, no matter whether, whether you have covered 5 subjects or 7 subjects or 8 subjects, if you are having the confidence, then your syllabus is done. I have seen a lot of my juniors only in my college, those who covered 7 to 8 subjects only and they get a rank around 100 because they were confident in those subjects. So whenever you cover a subject, cover that thoroughly. Now let's come to your query that sir, how we will tackle the previous subjects now. So you must have studied those subjects from a particular educator, right? Let's just say from educator X you have studied that subject. Now you are not able to score well in, your, in that particular subject. Now what you will do? You will go to YouTube. Okay. You will go to YouTube, you will type cursor. Yeah. You will go to YouTube, you will type uh, this example I am saying. I am not saying that you watch my videos only. You can watch any other educator's video. Let's just say I have studied network analysis from educator X. Then what you will do, you will go on YouTube and type network analysis by educator Y. Okay, you don't need to go to the educator X again. That educator X is excellent. I am saying that he might must be excellent. You have already studied it, but we will refer new resource now because we need to understand new things as well and revise our previous things. This is what we need to do. So I, I will go to YouTube. I will type network analysis by educator X. Oh, sorry, edu educator Y because from educator X, I have already studied. I will get some playlist. This network analysis playlist I am getting. Now, in this playlist, what I need to do, I need to go through the whole playlist, but I will go through the playlist smartly now. Now, I'm not do, I am not going to do it comprehensively. What I will have, I will have my previous notes. This is my previous notes that I have already made. Or if I am having the PDF, uh, like a hard copy of the PDF, that also I can put. So I will have the previous notes. Along with that, I will have a notebook with me, a fair notebook. So what I'm going to do, let's just say the teacher is teaching something. This guy, teacher Y, Imanshu Agrawal, he is teaching something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see the lecture. Initially, what he is explaining. First thing, I will put the speed at 1.75x, okay, because I don't need it to be like uh, too slow. So I will put it to 1.75x, then I will see that what he is explaining in this lecture, voltage, potential difference, I know this thing. So just simply I will skip this part, quickly I am going to skip this part. Then he is talking about power transfer, uh, like uh, power deliver, power uh, observe, so these, th these things he is explaining. So if I am not comfortable with this part, then I might be looking at it, otherwise I will skip this part as well. In that manner, I need to go. So these are the basic lecture. Here, I am not going to spend much time because I know I am already comfortable in that. Now, let's just say in between he is explaining some questions or he is taking some question. So at that time, what I am going to do? I will pause the video. 
any time he can take some questions okay uh, if we see in this video this since this is an interactive video there might not be some questions yeah so if we go here so he is taking some questions here so here i will post the video and solve the question on, on my own if i am not able to solve then i will see his explanation and proceed in the next sub, uh, in the next topic so this is how i am going to cover it okay in that manner what you will what you will do whatever that you have written in your notebook that will also be revised if you get something new you can write down in your new notebook and you will be solving a lot of problems as well so old things will also be revised new things you will write down and you will solve a lot of problems as well after that after this you will be a lot of confidence in your you will get a lot of confidence in your subjects that i can guarantee you so please try this method once it will not take much time this uh, this is somewhat around one hour six minutes video it will take roughly around 20 to 25 minutes now these video basic introductory video like basic law and classification of network element now i know he he'll be teaching about kcl kvl passive passive element active elements linear element non linear elements but still i will watch the video once Okay, just I will click on this. I will quickly see what he is teaching. Okay, he is teaching like a branch node, all these things, basic things he is teaching. Then he is taking these examples. So quickly I can skip all these parts. Then he is teaching about linear, non-linear. So whatever he is writing that quickly I can see, then I can proceed. So very quickly I will be able to watch the video. Now let's just say, we let's go to some more conceptual topic or we, we, we can say tougher topic. So this is your maximum power transfer theorem so this is a kind of conceptual topic where you might be messing it up right like i have seen a lot of students messing up in a maximum power transfer theorem so this is one of the topic where you might be messing up your problems so what you are going to do i will start the lecture from the beginning i will keep the pace at 1.75x and then i will watch it completely actions. like okay yeah, here he is doing the derivation into yeah what i was saying here he is doing the derivation so that i can ignore minus minus now what did i get to know that he is just writing apparent power real power reactive power these the, these terms he is writing so the derivation part i can ignore but uh, i know what i need to get it up you are you have this much of maturity that from my lecture how much you need to retain and how much part you can ignore if you already know some part you can ignore it then he will make the final table like here he will make the final table like like if this kind of element is coming then this will be the maximum power transfer if this kind of element is coming then that will be my maximum power transfer so this table here i will be spending some time because i should know the table if i know this table if i know the core concept behind this table then i will be sol able to solve all the problem after that he would be taking a uh, he would be taking some questions here he is writing down a conclusion then he is taking some questions so now I will be able to solve the problems. If I am able to solve the problems, now my topic is again cleared. So this is how we will be proce proceeding. In like again in uh, same thing you can do with transient analysis as well. Like if you see that, uh, no, so let's just say he is explaining something so new here. Like he is explaining some frequency content in step signal. So you might not have studied this thing, right? So this is something new you are getting. So that you can write down in your notes. So it will help a lot. And whenever you watch a new playlist, you will realize you are missing out on, on a lot of things. Your previous educator might might have taught you all these things. Like uh, the educator X would have taught you these things, but you have forgot. So this is your mistake. And then that mistake you are rectifying by referring to new playlist. I am not saying that refer from Himan Shagrawal only or from Prefusion only. You can refer from anyone. But I would recommend to refer from Prefusion only because you will get to learn a lot of new things here. Okay, like this is one of the things and uh, impulsive current and a lot of new things you are going to get. If, I'm not saying just about network analysis, whether it is analog electronics, whether it is digital electronics or control systems, any subjects, whether it is aptitude as well, you will uh, get to learn a lot of new things. So you can refer to anyone, but my recommendation would be refer to Prefusion's playlist or any other course if you want to refer to. But the thing is, you need to cover it again. So this playlist is roughly around 70 hours, some AC part is there on uh, our app so any network analysis playlist would be of roughly around 70 hours 70 to 75 hours so that 70 to 75 hours of playlist you will be able to complete in roughly around 35 hours only 7 to 70 to 75 hours of playlist you will be able to complete in 30 to 35 hours and if you are studying well 30 to 35 hours means maximum 4 to 5 days if you are studying well because this is the time when you need to give a lot of efficiency right so in maximum four to five days, you will be able to complete your network analysis. Along with that, you will be comfortable in the network analysis part. Also, you will be able to solve a lot of new problems as well. And now you will be confident enough and 
just write down the test series after that you will see a lot of improvement in your test series marks some people will say how to increase test series marks that uh, attempt this portion first uh, the first see the questions that you are able to solve now nah. things go don't go like that when you whenever you see a questions on test series you will feel like that either i can solve all the problems or i cannot solve any of the problem right this is what happens when we see the test series you feel like that the sir either i am able to solve all the problems or i am not able to solve a single problem you never know that this, sir, this problem is easy or tough when you see the solution you realize okay this was easy this was tough so there is nothing called easy or tough the thing is with your concepts if you are good with the concepts if you are comfortable with your concepts the thing will be easy if you are not comfortable then that will become tough for you that's it so test series marks will never be increased by some strategy it will be increased by your efforts i will also make strategy video to to increase the test series marks but there some things i will have to speak unrealistic things only this is the most realistic thing this is how you can improve your test series marks by improving in your subject itself you need to improve in your subjects then only you will be able to do well in your test series okay so this is how you are going to improve your subject i hope my motive or my information or what i say my message is clear to you guys say yes or no okay so this is how you are going to proceed so never run behind completing the syllabus first complete the previous task maximum one week you will require to complete the previous subject let's just say i have completed four subjects then within four weeks i will be able to complete everything from that particular subject and i will i will be much much comfortable okay so this is the maximum time i am telling you but if you are more dedicated then you would not even require four weeks within three weeks you can cover five subjects if you are dedicated enough like three weeks means 21 days in 21 days easily you can revise five subjects in that manner by watching the playlist and this is something i have recommended to my juniors and also i have applied to myself as well so after that i am recommending this thing okay i am not telling anything blind, blindly like uh, you must have seen on our channel you always get some something unconventional right some unconventional techniques you get so yeah these are the things that we ourself has applied after that we are telling it so blindly like making some P ppt or pdf i know that things looks good but doesn't actually work so this will certainly work please try it once okay and yes if you are referring to any so resource then you can refer and if you want to study from prefusion then you can study from prefusion as well these are our subject wise courses a lot of subject wise courses are there you can visit our website that is prepfusion.in the link will be given in the description so you can visit our courses and uh, these are our full courses for gate 126 as well for gate 125 as well so in gate 125 course this is not the full course here we are covering only certain amount of subjects so that you can see which subjects we are covering and if you want to purchase the course then you can purchase so these are the courses for 226 and 125 also we are having the subject wise courses as well okay then thank you very much i hope you found this video helpful uh, if you found it helpful you can share it with your friends and like this video thank you very much